Hey everybody, Mrs. KJ here, going over 5.01 types of chemical reactions. There are five main types of chemical reactions that you need to tell which one is which, and it's all about looking for patterns. So the first one is called a synthesis reaction. So this is type number one, synthesis. So write that on your paper. Then write element plus element yields compound. So this arrow, when we're in chemistry class, we don't say arrow, we don't say equals, we say the name for it, which is yield. Like instead of stopping at an intersection, you might yield. Well, in that case, it means slow down. This case, yield means produce. So the arrow is pronounced yield. So again, you're writing all this in your notes. Number one, synthesis. Element plus element yields compound. And here's the way that we can abbreviate. We can say A, as in like in math class, how you use X for variable, it's the same idea. So A plus X yields AX. So any element plus any element yields that compound. So let's give a real life example. I have H2 plus O2 yields water. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, it's got these little twos here. Does that matter? No. That just means that hydrogen's never by itself. There will always be a hydrogen pair hydrogen, and there will also be two oxygens always paired together. It's called a diatomic molecule, di as in two, diatomic molecule. Um, you don't need to worry about that part right now, but just so you know, it's only one element. So one element plus one element makes one compound. Um, you can show it in the bubble format down here. So A plus B yields AB. Now they're bonded together. And here's another example. This time I have three magnesiums. Does it matter that there's three of them? No, it doesn't matter because it's one element. Plus N2. Well, here I have two N's bonded together. That's still okay because that's just our second element. And then they go together to make magnesium nitride. Or Mg3N2. All right, the next kind of reaction is a decomposition. So on your paper, number two, decomposition. Now, we start with a compound, and it yields or makes an element plus an element. So AX yields A plus X, or any compound breaks apart into one element and another element. So now I start with water, H2O. It yields H2 plus O2. Again, it doesn't matter that there's two of them because it's one element plus one element. And we started with a compound. So here's John Moore's bubbles, so H2O. And in this case, you can see there's two H2Os. And it breaks down into a total of two H2s and one O2. And we're gonna talk more about these big numbers in the next lesson, but the big idea, one compound, doesn't matter how many, makes an element plus an element, doesn't matter how many. And then of course, the bubble format, AB is a compound, yields A plus B. So I put them on the board here. What do you notice about the synthesis and decomposition reactions? Well, first let's label them. Which one's the decomposition? So think about decompose, like biology. Decompose means you break apart. So you start with a big thing and you break it apart, decompose. The word synthesis or synthesize, like photosynthesis, synthesize means to make. So you're making the one compound. I think it's easiest to remember decom decomposition, decompose, breaking down. So what do you notice about these? Well, so hopefully that what you've noticed is that they are opposites of each other. So this one break, starts with a compound, breaks down into element, element. This one, element, element, makes a compound. They're opposites of each other. All right, now number three. It's a single displacement or a single replacement. It doesn't matter. It, they mean exactly the same thing. I use them interchangeably, so you'll hear me say both of them. And that's just how it is. They mean the same thing. So here I have an element plus a compound makes a different element, or sorry, a different compound plus an element. So AX plus B yields AB plus X. And down here in the bubbles, you can see 
This time they said A plus BC yields AC plus B. So it doesn't matter if you write the element first or if you write the compound first, it doesn't matter. The big thing is you make a new compound plus an element. Now again, you can always tell if it's a compound because it has at least two what? Capital letters, at least two capital letters. All right, so let's look at MgNaCl. Now, here's the big question. Who's magnesium gonna partner with? Does it matter? Yeah, you bet it does. If we look on our periodic table, magnesium is in group two. So if it's in group two, what is its charge? Plus two. Okay, told you, you're gonna use the same stuff over and over. Sodium, Na, it's right here. Group one, so what's the charge? Plus one. Chlorine is way over here. It is a halogen. It's in group 7A. And so it's going to gain one electron for a negative one charge. So which one is magnesium going to bond with? It has to bond with Cl. Why? Because you have to have a positive and a negative together. And then by itself will be sodium. Now, are we done with our formula? Oh, no, no. So I knew that magnesium was plus two, chlorine was minus one. So make your formula. Remember this two goes down here. So it's MgCl2. And this one, you can write it, you don't have to. Mg1Cl2. Or a little bit neater here. MgCl2 plus Na. Now, I wrote the exact same thing down here, but I switched these two around. It doesn't matter. It's like math class. You know, in math class, 2 plus 3 equals 3 plus 2. It equals 5, no matter which one you put first. It's the same idea, okay? So it's element compound makes compound element, or element compound makes element compound. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as you keep them on the correct side of the arrow, of the yield. Same thing when I start out. I can have element compound or compound element. It doesn't matter, okay? As long as you have, see, one element and one compound, you know it's a single replacement reaction or single displacement, same thing. All right, now we have a double displacement or double replacement. This is like what we did in the unit four lab. Now we have a compound plus a compound yields compound plus compound. Obviously, these are different compounds than those because if they're the same compound as these, nothing happened. There was no reaction. So AX plus BY yields AY plus BX or AB plus CD. They switch partners, AC plus BD. If you have done FOIL in math class, that's how I always remember it. It's the OI in foil, as in the outside ones go together and the inside ones go together. If you haven't done foil in math class or it's been so long you don't remember it, don't worry, okay? Because there's another way to know which one pairs with which. And what is that? Well, we need to do our charges again. Aluminum is in group three, so its charge is plus three. Oxygen is in group six, so it's going to gain two electrons, so the charge is minus two. You can also work backwards, because that's where the two came from. That's where the three came from. Sodium is in group one, so it's positive one. Chlorine is in group seven, so it gains one electron. And now we're going to pair them up. So Al plus which one? Cl, you have to have a positive in it, negative. And let's make it right away. Al is plus 3, Cl is minus 1, and so I have AlCl3. Notice how over here it was Al2. I don't care about that when I get over here. Once you get over here, you start over with the charges. The only time you bring a subscript over is if it's a polyatomic ion family, because in chemistry, we are not homewreckers, okay? So this was a family. SO4, if it's on your list of polyatomic ions, then you have to bring the subscript. Otherwise, you start from scratch. So AlCl3 
plus, and now I have O3, but again, I don't bring the subscript over, so I have O and I have NA. Which one do I have to write first? NA, because it's positive, I have to write the positive one first. So NA plus one, O minus two, that two goes down here, that one goes down there. Again, there were no subscripts over here. NA has a subscript over here. That's okay. There were three oxygens over here. There's only one over here. That's okay. We're going to do something in the next lesson to kind of remedy that and make it legal according to the rules of chemistry. But for now, the big thing, remember, that when you make your formulas, you got to start from scratch. So again, aluminum oxide plus sodium chloride yields aluminum chloride plus sodium oxide. Combustion! Oh, shoot, in case you forgot your notes, that's number four. Make sure you're taking notes. So if you need to go back and take some notes, make sure you do that. Sorry, forgot to remind you. Number five, combustion. When you think of combustion, what do you think of? Fireworks, fire, explosions. Awesome movie effects, okay? So you have heat, you have oxygen, you have fuel, kaboom. You have exhaust, you have heat that's given off. This one's different. This one you have to actually look at what elements are involved. So you're gonna have something made of carbon plus oxygen is gonna make carbon dioxide plus water plus heat and possibly some other junk. And you might have some other junk over here. But this is the clue. You're looking for something with carbon. You're looking for something with oxygen. It's going to make carbon dioxide and, oops, and water. That's your trick for combustion. All right, so those are the big tricks of what you need to know. Um, combustion, again, you look specifically at what chemicals they are. And the other ones, you're looking for the pattern. So compound, 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 compound double displacement. Element compound, compound element, single displacement because single, only one switched. This one, break it down. Decompose, one thing, break it down. Versus synthesis, which means to make. So element element makes a compound. All right, let's do a few practices. So check it out, one, two capital letters, compound. One, two, three capital letters, oh, compound with a polyatomic ion. So compound plus compound, they both switch partners. What type is it? Double displacement. All right, now there are some trickier ones. And so we're just gonna, I'm gonna kind of go through and just go through the ones that aren't overly tricky. So number three, look over this one. So I see compound, element, compound, compound. That wasn't one of our patterns. Oh, oh wait, water, carbon dioxide, oxygen. Ooh, that one is a <laughs> combustion. Yes, you must make the sound effect. <laughs> All right, what about number four? What kind is that? Element, this one's a compound, more than two capital letters. Element, compound. Oh, only one of them switched around, so it is a Single replacement or single displacement. All right. What about this one? Element, element, compound, synthesis. What about this one? Decomposition, compound, break down. All right, what about this one? Hit pause, get your answer. What is it? Single replacement, because I just switched one partner. What would this one be? Hit pause. This one would be a synthesis. I need two elements, I'm making one compound. What about this one? Hit pause. Single displacement. What about this one? Hit pause. I started with one thing and I broke it down. So it is a decomposition. Now if you're thinking, wait, this is an element element. I know, but it's still two different things. So that does happen sometimes. All right, what about this guy? Double displacement. Okay, hit the pause button, do the rest. Synthesis, decomposition, synthesis, double displacement, synthesis, synthesis.